Okay, so I did the first condensing logarithm expressions um, video, and then I heard back that, I don't know, I had been a chicken or something. I hadn't, hadn't done any hard work. So I'm just going to try to do three right now that are a little bit more challenging. And because they're a little bit more challenging, there's a there's hundred ways to do it. So one way that you could do this is this. You could, um, you could distribute this inside of here and bring these up logarithmically. So that would, but you know what, it's true, but it's a mess. So if you want to try that, try that. Um, bring the 2 to here and then bring the 2 to here and then bring this up. It would be 5 squared and this would be 15 squared. And you're going to get this enormous number over this number. You're going to get uh, 225 over 25. Try that, but this is the way I actually would do it. So for just being honest with you, I would leave this 2 alone and then I would do this. Whoops, I wouldn't do that though. I would, I would do this. I'd leave the 2 alone, so here's that 2. And then I'd take this piece here, log base 6 of 15 minus log base 6 of 5, and I'd use rule number 2. Um, these are the same bases, so what this means is log of 15 over 3. This negative sign right here tells us that we have division, right? We have division, so we have log of log base 6, right? Log base 6 of 15 over 5. 15 over 5 is 3, right? So there's our 3, is 3. Uh, I'll go ahead at that point, I would bring this in. Initially, it would go to right here, wouldn't it, if I just brought it inside the parentheses? But then it goes up here, doesn't it? Right, and that's that's the power rule. So this 2 gets ex comes up as an exponent here, isn't it? Okay, so I get that part done. Plus, and then what I'm going to do here, so I'm going to move to the second half of this thing here. Uh, well, I guess 3 squared is 9, so 3 squared is 9, so hopefully you're okay with where I got all that crap. And I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to quantify this. And I'm going to bring this up like this, and remit, so that makes this to the 1 half power, doesn't it? Makes this to the 1 half power, right? So I brought that up, makes that 1 half power, and then... One, this, right, one-half power means square root, so the square root of 1 over 25, the square root of 1 over 25 is 1 fifth, so we have log of 1 fifth, don't we? Oh, that's log base 6, sorry, that's a log base 6 here. And then we multiply those two, right, this addition sign right here, we're using the second rule of logarithms. This is the product rule, and then when we see addition, it means we're going to multiply. So we get 9 times 1 fifth is 9 fifths. They're the same log. So we have log base 6 of 9 fifths is our answer. If you're confused about any of this, about any of this, then please go back and look at the first video where we talk about the, those three basic rules or, or properties of logarithms. All right, let's try this next one. It, um, All right, let's try this. What the hell? So the, the next one is is one fourth log base five of eighty one minus the quantity two times log base five of six. Simon's leaving. Peace out. Peace out. One half log base 5 of 4. And then if you don't mind, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually, I'm actually going to distribute this. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to distribute this here and here to get rid of the parentheses. And if I do that, then this becomes, right, this will become negative, right? And this will be negative times a negative is a positive, and this will become positive, right? Are you okay with what I did? This is just the distributive property of multiplication over addition or subtraction, however you want to talk about that. Now we have, now we'll do some quick work here. Um, we're going to, first thing we're going to do is this, take this to the one-fourth power, and 81 to the one-fourth power is 3. That gives us log base 5 of 3, because the fourth root of 81 is 3, minus, and then I'll take this, bring this up to here, so... That will give us minus log base 5 of 36, right? 6 squared is 36. Plus, and this is to the 1 half, so log base 5. 
if we bring this up to the as a one half, right? We brought this up, squared this, right? We bring this up to the one half power, right? As we bring as we bring that up, this is square root. The square root of four is two, so I think we're doing okay so far. I'm gonna just do this piece right here. We have same basis. This negative sign right here means that we're gonna have division. This is the second rule, the the quotient property, isn't it? So we're gonna get log base five of three over six. Isn't that, I'm sorry, it's not true. Three over, three over 36, right? So three over 36, and three over 36 is 1 12th. Is that right, 1 12th? Let me stop myself for a second. All right, sorry, but I just want to make sure I was okay. So plus log base 5 of 2, right? So what we're going to look at now is we're going to look at the first property, and that's the product property, isn't it? This addition sign right here tells us that we have multiplication. So what we have is log base 5 of 3 over 36 times 2. This 2 right here, right? This is 2 over 1 times 2. And 2 times 3 is 6. And 6 over 36 is 1 6. So our final um, condensed version of this will be log base 5 of 1 6. Man, that's really a lot of stuff, isn't it? Sorry, you have to really just find your way through all those rules. Um, let's try one more, okay? Let's just try one more and see how we, how we like it here. All right, let's do this one. We have one more, and it's 3 times the quantity ln of 3 minus ln of x here, right, plus ln of x minus ln of 9. So what I'm going to do here is this, I think. Let's take this right here, if you don't mind. So, you know what, I'm going to do this uh, the opposite way that I did the first one, just to show you a, a different strategy for doing it. So I'm going to work on this inside piece first here. I'm going to leave this here. So I'm going to take, just looking at the inside piece, so I'm just only looking at what's inside the green parentheses here first, right? I'm going to just simplify that a little bit. And I'm going to take, right, you have the same log, so I'm going to take ln of 3 over x. But if you look at it for a second, remember, so that's me simplifying this, right, condensing this. But remember, we had this one sitting out here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at this this way. Right? I can bring all this crap down here. This crap down here. And this 3 comes up as an exponent, right? That's, that's the power property. So that comes up as 3, right? All I'm doing is working on this left-hand piece first. Remember, please, that exponents are distributive over multiplication and division. So what we really have is ln of 27, 3 cubed, right? 3 cubed is 27, and then that, that's me going to here. But then to here, that's x cubed, isn't it? Okay. So I'm just going to keep simplifying. And then this piece right here is ln of this, right? Here we have this subtraction sign which tells us to divide that's the second property right the quotient property of x over 9 right I'm gonna go back to the product property now this is ln go back to the product property now and it's this plus this so it's multiplication so what we really have is ln of 27 over x cubed times x over 9 right so we just simplify here we simplify here we get ln 27 divided by 9 is 3 of 3. x over x cubed is x squared, isn't it? So I believe that is our final answer. Man, that was a lot of work. Okay, if this threw you off a little bit, please go back to the first ones. They were much more straightforward. These, are, these examples are just a little bit more complicated, I don't know, for me. Let me speak for myself. Okay, you guys, good work.